Hello friends, Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and we are back with another Marguerite Miller. This is week five. Um, so the hashtag on this, if you're looking for these, is hashtag 2024CW5. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I appreciate you stopping by, and I hope that you'll consider liking uh, the video, subscribing, and coming back for more. And if you're a returning viewer, you know that I always appreciate your support and love you all that keep coming back. I've got a little ink on my hands. I was doing some stamping. I just finished another video, um, a daily one, and so now I'm doing the Marguerite Miller. Um, so this week we have a sewing item, something your state or country is known for, an item representing a childhood memory, something ornate, something that starts with L, and the bonus was something pink. I was thinking I didn't do something with L, but I did. I did. I was having a little senior moment there. All right, so I'm going to use this paper to put down for my background. So let's get started with that, and we'll just put a another piece under here so I don't get glue all over my page below. That would not be good. So how is everybody? I believe we're on week five already. You know. Well, I can't believe we're almost in January, I mean February, that the weeks and months just fly by. It's pretty amazing to me. I guess it shouldn't be. As I've gotten older, I've noticed that that happens. And my son, who's 41 right now, he says the same thing. He's like, I can't believe, you know, how fast everything goes by. I mean, he said it's like in an instant. I can't believe he says, I can't believe I'm 41. I said, well, I know, but that makes me a whole lot older than you, so I can't believe you're 41 either. But he's funny. But he looks just like, I mean, there's a couple of tiny differences. That boy looks just like he did when he was 16. I don't know how he does it, but he doesn't age. If I showed you pictures side by side, you wouldn't believe he's that much older than the 16-year-old picture. He just stays so young looking. All right, let's cut this off. So we've got a rainy day today here in North Carolina. It's pouring down rain out there, I, but the weather's really warm. It was in the 60s yesterday. And we haven't had any snow yet this year, which just flabbergasts me because usually we've had snow by this time of the year. A little bit anyway. It's pretty good at the bottom. All right. And cut that too awfully straight, but I suppose it's okay. I could put it in my uh, paper trimmer and trim it up if it's really bothering me, but I don't think it bothers me that bad. All right, the first thing that I have is something that my state is known for. Actually, I'm going to put this over here, and that is um, lighthouses. This is Bodie Lighthouse um, here in North Carolina. 
and for my something that starts with L, I'm going to put this piece of lace. Nope, I want it on this side. I'm going to put this piece of lace down the side so that we have that sticking out over there a little bit. So that'll be my something that starts with an L. I could have just made a lace frame all the way around it, but I didn't want to do that. So, there's something my state is known for. I need to pause for just one second, grab something here. I will be right back, folks back. Alright, now I want to go ahead and glue this down. Except leaving a little room at the top so I can poke something in there. And I have a spot for my prompts mapped out, as long as I don't forget to do it. Alright. There we go. Make sure that's all nice and straight. Alright, now I have um, something that is a sewing item, and I have this seam binding that I'm going to put here and I'm going to leave this open to stick my prompts down in. And then I also have something pink and I've got these little pink flowers to put on. So I'm going to put this down as a pocket. And that's actually two pockets because there's there's one kind of in the front and there's one in the back, but um, because that's a fold over. All right, now we'll put down these pink flowers. I don't know what these are and if they're native to our state, but they're pretty. And these are the something pink. Oops, I'm going to make sure I get that over so I'm not putting it right on top of the house. Let's see what else we have. Um, an item representing a childhood memory. This one was fun. So what I have here are some butterflies. And while I'm cutting off the extra edge on these, I'll tell you the childhood memory that these represent. When I was young, my dad was in the army. We were stationed in Panama lived there for, I don't know, two, two and a half years. And there were tons and tons of butterflies. 
and I got the idea one day that I wanted to catch some butterflies, but I needed a net to do it. Well, my dad was an avid fisherman, and he had, out in our little storage shed, he had um, some fishing nets. So I thought, oh, and it, they were like cotton. You know, the netting was like a cotton. Um, so I thought, well, that would be cool. I could catch a butterfly in that because the holes aren't so big that, you know, they could get out. And so I took the net out, and I'm running around catching butterflies. And then pretty soon I noticed that all my butterflies were getting away. I thought, well, what's going on? I'm catching them, and they're in this net, and I know the holes aren't big enough for them to get out. What's going on? So I took a closer look at the net, and what I found is that those dang butterflies were chewing through the netting, and they were making bigger holes and getting away. But holy cow, I better put this back before my dad finds out that I ruined his fishing nets. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told him that story. I probably should tell him that story the next time I talk to him. Um, so I put it in there, and I never heard a word from him about it. I'm assuming that he thought, you know, that maybe moths had gotten in that storage shed and chewed holes in it or something, because he never said a word about, you know, why was his, um, why was his fishing net damaged? Never said a word. So that's my childhood me memory of the butterflies. And my dad's fishing net. Oh, the things we did when we were kids. Most everything I ever did, I got caught. But not the fishing net. That one I got away with. top nut underneath like I thought I was. And we'll put another one up here. All right, so there's my childhood memory. The last thing is something ornate. And I have these little corner pieces. They are metal. And they're very ornate. They're, you know, like the filigree stuff. So I thought that I would use these on the corners of this page. Oops, sorry about that. a clamp to hold that down. While we do the next one. I would love it if you guys want to share some of your childhood stories in the comments. That would be fun. I've got so many. It was a matter of which to choose from. The other big childhood memory I have, um, and I just don't have any pictures um, to share about it, and that is that my grandparents had a cabin in the mountains, and we used to go there all the time, and it was, oh my gosh, it was a magical place. It was right on the river, right on the Index River, um, just 
I think north of Seattle. And we used to go up there all the time for fishing. And my grandfather always told a funny story about that cabin. He said they got the call about it on the day I was born. You know, that they, if they wanted it, it was theirs. And they were torn whether to come see me in the hospital or go get the cabin. Go sign the paperwork for the cabin. And Grandpa always told me, he said, we knew that Cheryl would be around for many years, but that cabin probably wasn't going to be around if we didn't go get it. So we decided to go and get the cabin. So that was always the fun story. But, oh, man, I love that place. And I was heartbroken when they sold it. But I was, like, 19 at the time and living in California while they were in Washington. And he's like, you don't come here anymore. You know, you're all grown up, and all we do is go up there and maintain it. You know, it's not fun for us anymore because we don't have the grandkids. So they sold it. All right, there it is, folks. That's a fun fun collage. All right, a sewing item. We've got the seam binding. Something my state is known for, the lighthouses, North Carolina coast. An item representing a childhood memory. I have the butterflies. Something ornate. I have the book corners or the page corners. Something that starts with L. I have the lace and the bonus was something pink. I have these little pink flowers. And what do you know, I even have a place to tuck the prompts. Amazing. All right, folks, there it is, week five. Marguerite Miller. Hope you like it. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's creations, and I will see you next week. Bye.